says, Darla from Crafty Yarn. I will welcome. So I mentioned to you a while back that I had uh, ordered a vacuum sealer from AliExpress. There's a lot of stores that sell on there. I guess it's kind of like Amazon. And anyway, I got it and it doesn't work. And I mentioned that in a video. Well, I'm still fighting for my refund. Um, this is it here. I'm not going to put the store's name down below or anything, but um, it's supposed to be e really easy to operate, and it should be. But the thing is, it doesn't vacuum, it doesn't seal, so it's just a paperweight, and it's not that heavy, so I don't know if it would make a good paperweight. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So I heard from that refund department, and they said that uh, the picture I sent to the seller doesn't show that the the um, vacuum sealer doesn't work. Well, I didn't send a picture, I sent a video. Now, why the seller would take a screenshot of my video, I saw it, and send it to the refund department. Mm, well, I do kind of know why he would do that, but anyway. So I told him, no, I sent a video to the seller. So I was able to appeal the decision and send the video directly to the refund department. So um, I'm waiting, it's been, I think, two or three days now, so I'm waiting to hear what's going on. But in the meantime, in the meantime, on the weekend, I said to hubby, you know, I think I want to go to Canadian Tire. Now, Canadian Tire uh, is in, in Canada, <laughs> and they're kind of like, maybe like a Walmart, but they don't sell um, fresh veggies and meats and stuff like that, but um, they do have cat food and dog food, I don't know if they have canned human food, but anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so, um, so I said I wanted to go there to, and he says, why do you want to go to Canadian Tire? I never want to go there. Anyway, he says, he asked why, and I said, well, I saw in their flyer that they have vacuum sealers, but they're a lot of money, and I'm hoping they have smaller ones. So he said, okay, let's go. So I said, okay, give me a couple of hours. Because, you know, I, well, if you're new here, I have a panic disorder. I can't just go spur of the moment usually. Anyway, that's he neither here nor there right now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we went there and we looked at some. And he was looking at one that was $200. And this one I got from AliExpress was $25 Canadian. Okay. The reviews were really good, which I don't know. But anyway. $200, $200 was the one that he, that hubby was looking at. And I'm like, I'm not going to spend $200 on one of those. No way. So the, the least expensive one I found was on sale for $109. Um, and it was regular, I think $149. So it was on sale. So I said, this is really all I need, but $109. Nine dollars. Oh. It looks like a really simple machine. So, um, so I said, I, I guess I'll take this one. And then he says to me, he takes it from me, and he says, "Happy birthday, happy early birthday." I'm like, what? Because my birthday is November fifteenth. He said, "I'll buy this for you for your birthday." I'm like, oh. Thank you, I said. So he bought it for me. <sighs> so I tried it out already. Um, I videotaped, um, gee, I hope I have them on my phone. Anyway, I videotaped opening it up and showing you stuff uh, that was inside of it and what comes with it. And so now I'm going to videotape a demonstration. All right, and this is for yarn. Okay, it's not necessarily for food. It's for yarn to um, vacuum pack the bags, to squish the yarn, and um, it'll be cheaper to mail yarn to people. Uh, I don't sell yarn, I just, I put yarn in giveaways, um, um, happy mail, things like that. And here in Canada, if the package is flat, flatter, as flat as you can get it, it's cheaper to send. 
okay? Because they measure, they measure the width, the length, the height, they weigh it, everything. So if you can make it as flat as you can, it's going to be cheaper to send. All right, so that's why I got it. Uh, so yeah, all right, let's uh, try it out. This is it, Food Saver Compact, the number one vacuum sealing system. Keeps food fresh longer. Full-size power while saving space. It comes with the vacuum sealing system. One of them. <laughs> Two 8-inch by 10-foot rolls of the bags are in rolls. Two pint bags and two quart bags. Limited five-year warranty. All right, so let's, um, let's try it out. Here's the instructions. Easy as one, two, three. Okay, step one, fill bag and place into removable drip tray. Then it says step two, close lid and lock latch. Step three, press vacuum button. All right. Sounds easy to me. Here it is, packed very nicely. Here's the system. Here's what comes with it, these two rolls of bags and these are there's a couple of different sizes of bags in there and the uh, owner's manual the cord and then this is a drip the cord that's a drip tray so this machine you open it, it says open so you move the lever up and then it opens And this is a drip tray for when you're doing food. So, oh, I guess it goes in there like that. And so let's uh, carry on, see if it works. All right, here's the machine. It is plugged in right now. And it is in the store position, which means uh, the lid is locked, so you can store your your machine. Uh, if you want to open the lid, you move this lever up to where it says open, and there's the arrow. So you hit that, and it opens up. Now this inside is a drip tray for when you're sealing or vacuum sealing your food, but I'm going to use this for yarn. But I'll, I'll leave that in there. It doesn't matter if it's in there. Okay, so here's, I got a small ball of yarn in this smaller bag. They did um, provide me with a couple of bigger bags. So, different sizes. You see that? Different sizes uh, will fit in this machine. A couple of different sizes anyway. So, you're supposed to leave about three inches from your product to here. And then... Um, when I was watching the video for how to, uh, just a random video on YouTube, how to work the other one, um, they said, I think they said, put the bubbly, yeah, put the bubbly side down. So one side of the bag is smooth, the other is bubbly, so you put that down, it, and you don't go too far into that tray. The other one didn't have a tray, I don't think. But you don't put it too far in. You know, I just touch the back of the tray. And then um, we close the lid. And then we want to operate it. So we go to the arrow that says operate. And that locks the lid closed. The lights come on. And then there's vacuum and there's seal. If you just want to seal the bag and not vacuum it, click on seal. If you want to vacuum and seal, you only click on vacuum. All right. So let's see. Let me see. Just gonna gonna do it. So click on vacuum. Ooh, look at that.
Okay, so I pressed on it to try and make it a little bit flatter. <laughs> so it's vacuumed it and it's also sealed it. So let's see if that actually happened. So we will go to open. I hear heard the vacuum seal uh, release. Okay, so it's vacuumed up inside there. And the bag is sealed. Yes, this is a good machine by Food Saver. Food Saver is the company. And did you know you can reuse these bags? It actually says that on the Food Saver um, owner's manual. You can, as long as you cut a straight line, when you're opening it, you cut along here, just under the seal. Cut a straight line, as straight as you can. I know I can't cut a straight line either. <laughs> but you do that, and then you can you reuse this bag. Very cool, right? So it's not just a one-use bag. So there's the, the yarn. Okay, everyone, so here it is. Here's the yarn that was I vacuum sealed. And the machine that works. <laughs> so here's the top of the bag. It's sealed. Okay, and this is the one I did. I actually, when I, I tried it out first, because I didn't want to film it, so I got a little nervous. What if it doesn't work either? And I have to delete the videos, oh, whatever. So, <laughs> this was the first one I tried. And uh, it flattened it out and sealed it. So, very, very happy. Let me just show you here. Sealed. Very happy. So, do you guys have a vacuum sealer? Uh, what brand is it? Do you like it? Um, how much was it? <laughs> All right, um, so thank you so much for, for joining me. I really, really appreciate it. I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys are just amazing. Um, yeah, I, just, I love that this machine works. I'm just so happy, so happy that this one works and it does what it's supposed to do. Yes. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.